George will be facing 100 questions and for each question, um, there are three options and what George decides to do is to do purely just guesswork, which means that the chances of him getting each question correct is 1 over 3. So if I were to let W be the number of answers that George is going to get correct out of 100 questions, that means W over here is going to follow a binomial distribution with the number of trials as 100 and the probability of success is 1 over 3. The number of trials n is 100, this is large. And if I were to check n times p, it is going to be 100 over 3, this is bigger than 5. And if I were to check n times 1 minus p, it is going to be 100 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3, it is 200 over 3. This is also bigger than 5. So for the condition that we are looking at here, we can actually approximate w to become a normal distribution. And in order for us to fill in the parameters for the normal distribution, we need the expectation and the variance of w. The expectation of w is n times p, it is 100 over 3. So here is 100 over 3. As for the variance, the variance of w is n times p times 1 minus p, it is 200 over 9. So here, 200 over 9. What we are supposed to do is to calculate the probability when w is bigger or equal to 30. So what we are going to do is, we are going to do a continuity correction because w was originally a discrete random variable and now we are trying to look at it as a continuous random variable. So this is going to be bigger than 29.5. Through the continuity correction, if I were to press this into the calculator, this is 0 0.792.